in this tutorial we will learn about function and subroutine in VBA programming. In VBA, function is set of code that returns a result and subroutine is also same except one difference that it does not return any result. We can insert a module and then create a function or subroutine and then we can call that function or subroutine to perform the task. So let's see some examples how we can create function and subroutines in VBA and how we can call them. So let me go to VBA editor window. To reach VBA editor window, we have one command that is Alt and F11. So let me press Alt F11. This is VBA editor window. On left hand side, we can see objects of this Excel file. So we have sheet one and then this workbook. I'm using Excel 2013. Excel 2013 has only one sheet by default. So on this workbook, I will right click, then insert and select module. Here I will write a subroutine and then call that subroutine. So let me start with keyword sub. Sub keyword we use to declare any subroutine space and then we can give name. So here I will give name as testing brackets. Once I press enter, we can see that and sub is added automatically. So here I will write one line of code message box hello how are you so we can say this is one subroutine with the name testing how we can call this subroutine so let me minimize this VB editor window on excel sheet I'll go to developer tab here we have option insert from ActiveX controls select command button and drag a command button here then I will double click on this command button and call that subroutine to call subroutine there is a keyword call space name of subroutine that is testing press enter we can see that formatting is done automatically now what will happen once I click on command button then it will call subroutine named testing and whatever is written in that subroutine will be executed. So let me press design mode. Now I'll click on this command button. We can see that it is showing message. Hello, how are you? And this message is coming from that subroutine. Now let's understand one example of function as well. So I'll go to VBA editor window again. But here this command button is on sheet one. But I'll go to module again. In this module, I will add a function. So we can declare function with keyword function and then name of function. So I want to create a function to add two numeric values. So let me give name add two bracket then a1 comma a2. So what I am doing here I am giving two arguments. Once I press enter it will add and function automatically. Now I will write add 2 equal to a1 plus a2 and then to display result message box here we can notice that function name is add 2 with two arguments 
then calculation is being performed and result is being stored in the same keyword so these two should be absolutely same now we have written one function in the same module now let's see how we can call this function so while calling this function we need to pass two values and first value will come into a1 second value will come into a2 then both values will be added result will be stored in add2 so let me minimize this window here on this sheet let me add one more command button double click on this command button so here we can call add2 this is the function name now i need to pass two values so let me let me pass 5 comma 6 so what will happen when i click on second command button it will call function named add2 that will pass two arguments and show result let me minimize this VBA editor window. Click on design mode. When I press command button 2, it is showing result as 11. So what is happening? 5 and 6 are being stored in A1 and A2. Result is being stored in add to keyword and message box is displaying result. So let's use this function for more tasks before doing that let me tell you we can say this function is user defined function or custom function so we can write our own custom function for different tasks cell a1 has let's say 12 a2 i will write as 15 now here if i write equal to add 2 then this function is already there now we need to pass two numeric values so instead of that i will pass a1 comma a2 close bracket press enter we can see message is showing 27 when i press ok same is being displayed in cell b1 so this kind of functions we can create and these functions will work as user defined functions so let's take one more example let me write 45 and 10 so i want to use same function here so i write equal to add to bracket first argument then second argument bracket close we can see result is 55 same is shown in cell h4 so this is how we can create function and subroutine in module and we can call them by using keyword as call thanks for watching this tutorial if you like it please subscribe to my channel for more learning tutorials of VBA.